Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what Spirit wants you to hear. Please remember this when it resonates for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Spirit wants you to know. Okay. Whoever I'm picking up on here, um, there's an energy where somebody, they can't shake you, like, they can't get over you, okay? Um, now, I am getting that this person, they've been very confused as to why they can't get over you um, for a long time, right? I am getting, at the moment, this person is really, it feels like they're reviewing the past, okay? They're figuring out, I'm getting that this person, they have had some type of reading or they've seen a psychic, okay, and this psychic or this reading gave them a lot of clarity okay and this person is looking into the past and they're realizing the reason that they can't get over you is because they're supposed to be with you okay they keep getting guided back to you right this feels like somebody having a spiritual awakening i'm getting that In the past as well, whoever this person is, they may have been very angry, okay? I'm just getting this very aggressive energy from this person. I'm also getting... They feel like they've messed things up, okay? They may have walked away. There could be some type of separation, but they feel like they've messed things up. And whoever this person is... They're trying to find you at the moment. They're trying to figure out how they can communicate with you. This feels like somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. Could be an Aries, could be a Taurus. It feels like in the past, this person was really in their ego. They were kind of confused, okay, because they were listening to their ego. Um, for some of you, whoever this person is, they didn't even consider this connection being a soul connection, right? This person didn't consider that at all. This is somebody that they're not usually, like, they don't really believe in that, okay? Um, at the moment, there's some type of spiritual awakening happening with this person. It feels like a little bit of an ego death going on here, right? I'm also getting this energy where... In the past, this person's heart chakra was extremely closed off, right? And I am getting that there's an energy of them. It feels like they didn't even consider that this actually could be some type of love or some type of soul connection. It feels like this person, they thought it was more lust okay or they were more sexually attracted to you okay but the thing is they could never get over you they could never stop thinking about you
And this is somebody that I am getting that for a long time, they tried to figure the connection out from a logical point of view, right? This is somebody that is very logical. Um, this is somebody that tried to find scientific reason for things. Um, they're not, in the past, they weren't that spiritual minded. Um, they may not have even believed in soul connection, they may not have believed in even things like paranormal activity, right? This is somebody that they try to figure things out from their mind and this is something, a connection that comes from the heart, right? But their heart would close off, so they were very confused. I do see that communication coming from this person, this person as well, for some of you, you may have met them at work, okay, or maybe you work together, but for some of you, I am getting that this person doesn't know how to reach you, they don't know how to communicate with you, they may have lost contact, okay, um, but I do see that this person, it's like they're looking for you at the moment because this person wants to talk to you. They misinterpreted the connection in the past and now they realise that. I'm also getting... This person may have approached you in a disrespectful manner. I am getting this person may have been... A little bit more immature in the past. I'm getting that this person may have came at you in a sexual way in the past um, and you may have felt a little bit disrespected. Um, this person in the past was somebody that is very reckless with their sexual energy. They're definitely somebody that lives within the moment. They don't think about the future or the bigger picture. Um, they're somebody that very spontaneous, very impulsive. Um, and I do see that this person, it feels like... In the past, they came at you in a disrespectful energy. And I'm getting that they may have done this a fair few times because this person, it's like they've been attracted to you for a long time. But again, they were confused, right? They thought that this was like a strong sexual connection or there was like sexual tension between you two, okay, because this person... Like they didn't even think about they could love you or they could have a connection with you, okay? Um, right now, there's this realisation, okay? They're having this realisation that this is way more than a sexual connection. This is more than lust. This person really can't stop thinking about you. When I said that, I've seen 848. This person cannot stop thinking about you. It's like they, no matter what they do, this person does try to distract themselves a lot, right? But it doesn't work, right? They're constantly trying to forget about you, do things to distract themselves, meet people that basically they hope will replace you, okay, in some type of way. And I just say 919. But they realise that nobody is you, right? And I do see that this person at the moment, they've seen somebody, okay? Somebody has given them clarity about this connection. This is giving me a divine masculine energy, okay? With the emperor card here, this, is, this could be a divine masculine, okay?
could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I see this person, um, whoever this is, they are very stubborn, okay? They're somebody that... They're very stubborn, very set in their way, right? Once they've made up their mind, they've made up their mind, right? This person, they feel like you're so different, okay? There's this energy where you treat them different to other people, okay? They really see something within you, okay? They feel like you are so healing to be around okay there's also this very understanding energy and I, I am getting this energy where you don't judge them right this person has a low self-esteem they have made a lot of mistakes in the past um they also feel like there's some type of flaw here, right? But I'm getting that you're, like, you don't judge them, right? And they know that about you and they can feel that about you, right? They feel like you love them regardless, right? And you just being around you heals them. I'm also getting this energy of this person they regret. They regret walking away, right? Because I do see that this person walked away from this. I just seen 12-12. But they never really walked away from this because they continuously would think about you, try to distract themselves. Um, it's like you never left this person's heart or mind. I am getting that this person, there is this energy of them trying to distract themselves, okay? They could be, they could have um, got into a new relationship or something like that to try to distract themselves. But the thing is, it never worked. This person, they never were distracted. It's getting to the point where this person, they really need to figure this out and they are figure, figuring it out. Like they're getting the clarity that they want. You could be dealing with a Leo. For some of you, this person got themselves involved with a karmic situation, right? While they were trying to distract themselves from you, they got themselves involved with the karmic, okay? And this person feels like they've made the wrong choice here. They also feel like they have created a big mess, right? Because they feel like that this karmic, this karmic is somebody that is very hard to get away from. This is somebody that is very aggressive, very even violent, okay? Very possessive over your person. Um, and again, I do see this person getting involved. And I just seen 14, 14. This person got involved with the karmic to try to get over you, to try to distract themselves from you. But instead, they caused a major issue for themselves and they don't know how they're going to get out of it. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get out of this karmic situation because this karmic is so possessive and really mean as well. I paused that on 14.41. Let me know if the, uh, that resonates. I am getting that this person got tricked by a karmic, okay? This karmic... They put on this beautiful mask, okay? They may look very attractive on the outside, the karmic, okay? Um, like, they may have a very attractive exterior, okay? Um, 
but I am getting that this person got tricked, okay? Once this person made a choice, your person here, that this masculine energy, once this person made a choice to pursue the karmic, right? They realized very quickly that that was the wrong choice because the karmic mask dropped, dropped real quick, right? Your person actually feels completely stuck now with the karmic, okay? They don't know how to get away from this situation because the karmic is very possessive. Like, your person feels like this karmic is crazy, right? Um, there's this innocence to you, okay? This um, beauty within you that this person really recognizes and this karmic just makes this person miss you even more and want to pursue you even more to be honest but again they feel stuck for some of you this karmic may actually resemble you in some type of way like i'm getting that this person was kind of trying to look for you but they didn't pursue you well they tried to pursue you but they tried to pursue you in the wrong way okay now, you are really teaching this person boundaries. This is somebody who, they may be very attractive. They may feel like they're able to get what they want. Or people may actually throw themselves at this person. Again, this person may be, may be very attractive. They may own their own business. Like, I am getting that this person has a lot of status, okay? People view this person as high value, right? But with you... There's this energy where you are also very high value, okay? And you're also somebody that a lot of people are attracted to you, but I am getting that you are not reckless with your sexual energy like this person was, right? You tend to be very... You understand that your, sacred en uh, your sexual energy is very sacred, okay? You understand that... That energy is not energy that you just give out, okay? Sexual energy is literally a energy exchange. Like, you need to be prepared to exchange that beautiful sacred energy that you embody with the other person. You understand that, okay? Your person, on the other hand, they like to live in the moment, okay? And... Again, they may be known as more of a player, okay, but I do see that this person, it feels like they could have anyone that they want and then they chose this karmic because this karmic resembled you in some type of way, but the thing is, it's like the inside is like toxic, right? They may look good on the outside, but once they got to know them, they realised that this person was vicious, mean, possessive, okay? It feels like this person as well. Again, they are trying to get away from this karmic. Um, they feel like you're so pure. There's something so pure and innocent about you. They feel like, you know, you just don't cause drama. You bring peace, right? Yeah, this person, so the thing is, right, this person, they've done a lot here to distract themselves from this connection, but overall, they are realising that they can't, right? I do see that this person, they are, they're contemplating at the moment. For one, they're trying to find you, they're trying to figure out how to contact you, how to communicate with you. Oh, scared me. Um, This person actually may be a little bit scared to communicate with you, like they may, there could be a lot of fear there, okay? But I do see that this person, they're contemplating, right? How to communicate with you, what to say, okay? They're also, right now, they are realising that this connection is deeper than what they thought. They're realising no matter what they do, they keep getting guided back to you, right? They are also realising that they need to make a decision, okay? And it's not even make a decision because they've made it, but they need to take action. 
and I do think that this person right now, there's communication coming in, there's a new opportunity with this person coming in, and this person, they have a whole different perspective, and they're going to start approaching you in a whole different way. Again, this person may have approached you in a sexual way in the past, now this person's realising that this is not a sexual connection, this is a spiritual connection, okay? That's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.